Hello, welcome to the Moon Scarab channel. My name is Ramon. On this video, we will talk about runes. What are they, their origins, and their use in divination? We will also go over the meaning of all 25 runes, 24 with their corresponding symbols plus the blank rune, which not all rune sets include. I will also share with you a trick that I use to remember the meaning of the runes by associating an image related to the concept of the runes definition. A rune is a letter in a set of runic alphabets native to the Germanic people. These were used to write several Germanic languages before they adopted the Latin alphabet, the alphabet originally used by the ancient Romans. The traditional runic alphabet, Futhark, takes its name from the first six runes that compose it. Fehu, Urus, Turusas, Ansus, Raitho, and Kauna. The Elder Futhark or Older Futhark is the oldest form of runic alphabet which is dated to around 400 AD and consists of 24 letter runes, each one with its own symbolic meaning and purpose. The word rune means whisper or secret. Runes are used in divination or oracle readings to help find answers and possible solutions to questions. In spite of its association with fortune telling, most rune readers point out that runes were not designed to predict the future. They provide greater awareness of the connection of all things, nature, cause and effect, and the interactions between our personal lives and the rest of the world. Like any balanced archetype system, runes represent an overview of human psychology in the physical world as well as the universe. These ancient runes are associated with Scandinavian religion and magic, as well as Skaldic poetry. The Scandinavians themselves believed that the runes had powerful energy and great mystical power. Each of the 24 runes of the original Elder Futhark rune system has its name and meaning. Because of this, they can be used in almost all spheres of life. Mastery of the runes can take time, but it's not difficult for a beginner to learn the basics. The first thing you'll need is a set of runes of your own to begin familiarizing yourself with this ancient system of knowledge. Making your own rune set using stones, tiles, or any other material is a great and excellent way to begin to learn the runic symbols. On the other hand, there are many beautiful rune sets available for sale. Buying a pre-made rune set that calls to you can be an equally good beginning to your runic studies. Each rune has a meaning. Not everyone chooses to read a rune in reverse, but if it comes up, it usually means the opposite of its meaning. Let's explore the meaning of all 25 runes, 24 with their symbols as well as the blank rune. Let's get started. 1. Fehu the first of the Elder Futhark, Fehu, symbolizes material wealth and prosperity. It can represent good luck, abundance, and financial or social success. Its reverse meaning may indicate the loss of personal possessions, of income, a decrease in self-esteem, or some other kind of material struggle. When you see this symbol, think of F for finance. Two, Urus. Urus represents the ox or wild bull, and it symbolizes strength, endurance, hard work, perseverance, motivation, and determination. It can indicate a time of great energy, speed, and health. This rune channels masculine energy. Reversed, it may indicate a loss of health, decreased endurance, blockages, abusive dominance, or misdirected force. When you see the symbol, Think of Samson's strength when he broke the pillars. 3. Thurusas Thurusas is a rune that is often looked at with fear because it represents the forces of chaos, fear, and powerful emotions. This represents Thor's hammer. As such, it indicates a powerful direction of energy and force for either destruction or defense. So this symbol may also indicate conflict. This could be chaotic, cleansing, and purgative. Reversed, it could mean defenselessness, compulsion, spite, or betrayal. When you see the symbol, 
think of the similarity of this to a thorn or a mallet. Four, Ansus. Ansus is the rune of communication, divine message, or insight arriving. It's representative of the ancestral god Odin's wisdom, as this can also mean good advice, wisdom, truth, inspiration, and enthusiasm. Reversed, it can point to a miscommunication, deceit, misunderstandings, bad advice, and therefore advises caution in dealing with others. Think of this symbol as an antenna for communication. Five, Raito. Raito is indicative of a journey and it's represented by a wagon or a wheel. It refers primarily to motion, transportation, and journeys. It reveals the proper way to proceed in situations. This could be both physical travel or a spiritual voyage in the expansion of your horizons. It can also indicate things being put into perspective, evolution, and the cycle of life. Reversed, it can mean a blocked path or resistance to embarking upon your voyage. Think of this symbol as an R for ride and movement. Six, Kenas. is symbolic of the flame or torch. It symbolizes the burning desire to move forward. The translation means torch. This is symbolic of a fire that lights the way while also providing protection and warmth. It can indicate something that was previously unknown and now may come to light, as well as secrets and that you are on the right path of finding a truth that will be revealed. It also means knowledge, creativity, inspiration, regeneration, and energy. Reversed it can indicate a lack of vision, that you are stuck, false hopes, or instability. Think of the symbol as a dragon's open mouth torching fire. Seven, Gebo. Gebo is the rune of the gift and the exchange. Gebo embodies two important concepts reward for effort and altruistic giving with no expectation of reward. It also relates to generosity, balance, and positive relationships. It has no inverted meaning. Think of the symbol as an X. X marks the spot for a treasure or a gift. Eight, Wunyu. Wunyo represents triumph and joy, security, safety, celebration, and belonging. It can also indicate harmony, prosperity, and spiritual rewards. It embodies the concepts of enjoyment and celebration. It's very simple in its nature, but powerful and healing. The Wunyo rune is the calm after victory over an obstacle in your life. Reverse, it can point to sorrow, alienation, or loss. Think of this symbol as a flag of celebration and success. Nine, Hagalas. Hagalas represents hail. It's associated with hail, destruction, destructive powers of nature that are often necessary in order to build something new and opening the path to growth. Similar to the tower card in the tarot, Hagalas represents an unavoidable change that is out of our hands but helps us in breaking habits. Life is made up of a continuous series of changes. The lesson of Hagalas is to learn from our hardships and grow through our mistakes. It has no inverted meaning. Think of this symbol as H for hail. 10. Naudis. Naudis is indicative of our needs. It represents needs in all its forms, from the need of food and shelter to the need of personal fulfillment. Needs create invention. When you are in need and understand those needs, you are able to find a way to fulfill them. The outcome depends upon your actions or lack to obtain them. 
More so, the Naudis rune symbolism illustrates that you need to manifest new solutions in order to deal with your old problems. Assessing where our needs are and where we may be currently lacking can help us take better care of our future selves. Reflect on the past for insight into the future, but also welcome peace within ourselves by embracing our emotions. Think of this symbol as a broken pole in need of repair. Eleven, Isas. Isas represents ice. It's similar of the hangman card in the tarot. It highlights the need to pause, wait, and although they may be a feeling of being frozen, it's an opportunity to put things into perspective. A time of rest before action. A period of meditation and recharging before action is continued. It may be necessary to stop and look around in order to further assess a situation, rather to charge forward without direction. Isas has no inverted meaning. Think of the symbol as I for ice. Twelve, Yera. Yera is representative of the harvest or the year. It symbolizes the natural cycles of life. The change it brings is slow and requires patience, planning, and hard work. It indicates that we can now reap what we've sown and enjoy our plentiful abundance. A cycle usually means that you have to experience both the light and the dark side. Yera is day and night, life and death, yin and yang. Agriculture is strongly associated with Yera. The planting of seeds, nurturing the shoots, and reaping the rewards of the crops. Once one cycle ends, another begins. If you're going through a tough time, it won't last forever. The energy that comes through this symbol will fill you with determination and desire to create and work toward your goals. There is no reverse for this symbol. Think of this symbol as the tire tracks of a harvest tractor. 13. Ahas. Ahas is similar to the death card in the tarot. It's a rune of transformation and testing, stripping away that which is worn out, deceased or weak, so that strong new growth may occur. It is the rune of the yew tree, a symbol of age, endurance, death, and eternal life. In Norse mythology, the ash tree is representative of the tree of life, divine protection, wisdom, enlightenment, and a sense of purpose symbolizing the connection between the physical and the spiritual worlds. Think of the symbol as a scythe for reaping death and transformation. 14. Pertro. This is the gambler's room and as such represents the cup of dice or fortune. It indicates that influences in life may be down to chance. Perthro represents mysteries, the unknown, and forces at work beyond our understanding. Perthro can be viewed as the game of life. In tarot, this will be similar to the Wheel of Fortune card. It can also represent hidden meanings, secrets, and change, symbolizing the womb. Reverse, it can indicate loss of faith. It is also a warning to be aware of others' manipulations. Think of this symbol as an imaginary constellation of lucky stars. 15. Alhis Alhis is the elk, and so represents defense, protection, instinct, group effort, and guardianship. This room might mean that you are seeking for a safe place or that you are currently safe from harm. However, keep vigilant and clear-headed. It can also represent an awakening and strong intuition. If you pull a reverse alhis during a rune reading, this is usually a sign that you have been too laid back or possibly careless. Practice self-care to boost your emotional, spiritual, and physical clarity. Think of the symbol as the horns of an elk. 16. Sobilo. Sobilo is the happy symbol of the sun. It represents a time of joy, abundance, 
luck, good fortune, health, vitality, good energy, sunlight, and wholeness. Sowilo represents the power and healing of the sun's energy. It is a cause for celebration and can indicate a success of your goals, optimal health, elemental power, and prosperity as long as you remain open to it. It has no inverted meaning. In tarot, this card is equivalent to the sun card. Think of the symbol as an S for sun. Seventeen, Tiwas. The rune Tiwas symbolizes masculinity, justice, leadership, and logic. It shows that you are capable of spearheading your way through all troubles with leadership, skills, authority, and rationality. It can indicate victory and knowing of your true strengths with willingness to self-sacrifice. Reversed. It usually indicates that you are experiencing a lack of motivation or even fear in some situations. You may have felt overwhelmed by barriers and obstacles you have faced recently, indicating blocked creative energies, imbalance, and lack of passion. Think of the symbol as arrows of bravery. 18. Berkana. Berkana is the rune of birth. It represents the birch tree goddess, feminine power, growth, and security. Berkana stimulates mental healing. It embodies the feminine energy that resides in everyone and in different levels regardless of gender. This rune recalls the shape of a breast of a mother who has the power to nurture and take care of what must grow and manifest. Berkana is sweet and maternal energy which can also indicate birth or marriage, and even the beginning of an idea, a project, or a new way of thinking to achieve a common goal. Soberkana is considered to all intents and purposes the rune of beginnings. It embraces mindfulness into everyday life for staying balanced, healthy, and connected with your project in early stages and difficult moments. In reverse, it can mean a halt in growth, stagnation, and disharmony. Think of this symbol as a B for birth. 19. Ehuas. Ehuas is the horse, its movement and progress. It's a rune associated with mobility, freedom, and independence. It indicates moving forward and change for the better with gradual but steady progress. It can also show teamwork, trust, loyalty and overcoming obstacles. It suggests embarking on journeys or projects or even collaborations with others. You're strongly supported to make a strong progress towards your goal, but keep in mind to stay supportive and loyal to those around you. Reversed, it can foretell regression, lethargy, retrograde motion, reluctance, or even feeling lost. In this case, Ehuas urges us not to change anything and wait for a more favorable time. Think of the symbol as a finish sign you move or progress to. 20. Manas Manas is representative of humankind and humanity. It encompasses yourself, identity, and relationships towards others. It's a group of people, most frequently the community immediately surrounding you. This often refers to just social relationships rather than businesses or romantic relationships. The appearance of this room suggests that the important factor might not be necessarily the person doing the reading, but the people in his or her immediate sphere of context. While many rooms deal with the individual, Manas is a reminder to step back and consider a larger group, the family or community. Manas also directly relates to an individual's place within a community and how he or she is perceived. Reversed, it can indicate self-delusion, manipulation, and isolation. Think of this symbol as an intertwined M for mankind or humankind. 21. Lagus the Lagos rune is often associated with water, which is a symbol of emotions, dreams, intuition, and the unconscious mind. 
It indicates a healing power of renewal, heightened imagination, and psychic abilities. It can also relate to mysteries, secrets, the unknown, and the underworld. Reversed, it can point to fear, misjudgments, or disconnection from your inner self and your intuition. Think of the symbol as an inverted L for lake. Twenty-two, Inguas. Inguas represent a seed. The Inguas rune is a symbol that appears in a number of different cultures. This word means fruitfulness or abundance, and this rune is often used to represent fertility, new beginnings, and growth. In Norse mythology, this rune was associated with Freyr, the god of fertility. In modern paganism, Inguas is sometimes used as a symbol of rebirth and new beginnings. It's also associated with the season of spring, when plants begin to grow and new life emerges. In general, it points to fertility, well-being, ancestry, family, as well as lineage. It has no reversed meaning. Think of the symbol as a DNA strand. 23. Othala. Othala is the rune of inheritance. It tells of our lasting legacy, spiritual heritage, values becoming aligned to what is truly important, communal prosperity, and fundamental values that we have inherited from those before us. Reversed, it can indicate inherited issues and prejudice. Think of the symbol as an inherited heirloom diamond. 24. Dagas. The rune Dagas is the rune of awakening, the light of dawn after the darkness of night. It shows the ending of a cycle. New beginnings are approaching and new breakthroughs. Awareness and awakenings are possible. This symbol is compared to the butterfly that transforms out of the cocoon and free hovers in the sky and light. This is an extremely favorable rune and despite the obstacles, it represents strength and willingness to pursue projects and to conclude them successfully. It represents the transformative power of change and that now is a good time to embark upon a fresh enterprise. It's a symbol of positivity, hope, and security. It has no reverse meanings. This will be equivalent of the completion of a full cycle with the world card in the tarot. Think of the symbol as a butterfly in dawn. 25. Rune 25 is an optional rune, and it's a blank rune. Sometimes it's referred to as Odin's rune. As mentioned, some sets come with an optional blank rune indicating the Norse god of creation. This rune represents secrets to be withheld. It reflects that we are not supposed to have all the answers, and that's okay. As such, its meanings are unknown, it represents secrets, hidden mysteries, ambiguous, unknowable, and maybe the answers will reveal themselves in time. 25. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and share it with someone who might benefit from it. And click the subscribe button for more future videos about tarot, divination, and other esoteric topics.